<laughs> I'm just joking. Arsenal is going to win anyway because I know most of people vote for Arsenal. Back to another episode of Sora Online Integral Factor, and we are going to talk about the update today that they've been talking about in the live stream. First, they talk about the winner, the winner of the winner of the best friend poll event, and it's Yuki. That congratulations, Yuki! Congratulations, Yuki! So next thing they talk about is the floor 14 is going to drop. Soon. I saw they already made mobs and the uh, map, and then uh, it seems they already made the story as well, so I bet it's gonna drop in this month. And as well as the material to upgrade your integral city. This is pretty interesting stuff they add into this. This basically, you can have 4 star weapon now. I think we didn't have any 4 star weapon before. And then right now we have this event, Bride Dress is with a Smile Part 2. Do this event every single day, so you will get this uh, mysterious card. Use that card, you can trade for the half beast stone, something that looks like um, arm and stone, and uh, um, core metal. So basically, if you want to upgrade your integral theory, you will need one core stone and 25 of these uh, slicing stone plus to make a slicing stone ultra. Yeah. Uh, that that's just a name I add for I add for sliding stone. I don't know what they're gonna call it in English. So basically, you're gonna you get this ultra slicing stone, and you'll get two half beast, half beast armament stone. Then you can upgrade your integral theory to a four star integral theory weapon. And not just that, your integral theory kind of changes its look as well. So basically, it grows on the side of the weapon, so it looks more like a legendary weapon. Well, if you still couldn't obtain your integral theory, or you're still not level 1 and 1 yet, uh, hang there, buddy. You will eventually get there. Like for me, right now, level is basically something that I don't even need to focus on level leveling. It just automatically levels because <laughs> I just want the armament stone and I just farm a lot of quest board, and it just automatically gave me to <laughs> that level. Don't care about your level too much. Just uh, farm the stuff you want to. You just somehow get to the level you want. You don't even notice. And when the floor 14 drops, they are gonna give us um, 2,500 Arcana gem as well. But they won't give us uh, at once. They will give us separately, like before. Like you log in for once, you give like 250, and your total you got log in for 10 days. That type of deal. Yes. And I heard they said they'll do it this time, but they don't know they will do it next time or not. Hmm. I hope they do. <laughs> it's a good way to celebrate, you know. And in this floor 14, there is gonna be a new character added into the storyline, which is Sanya. Sanya has been in an event before, but she hasn't really been in uh, our real storyline yet. So floor 14 is the place where they will introduce Sanya into the real storyline. I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting story. And I think that's that's all for the floor update. Next is about they will add a EXP, weapon EXP, and a drop rate times 2, a monthly pass in the store, which you can buy. If you bought this from the store, then this buff will continue for a month. And remember, this EXP times 2 doesn't involve the quest EXP. It only, it only doubles the EXP, which the monster that you killed doesn't really double the EXP that you do in the quest board. And they also say something about giving free-to-play players um, this type of items that has the exact same effect 
Uh, actually, not exact same. I think it's the time period is gonna be shorter. Um, remember the client's um, training? I forgot what is that training program? Those things that can help newbies. Yeah, they're gonna make some um, training program like that. And they won't give us something like before. They will give something like a uh, item that boosts your EXP for a certain amount of time, or e or weapon XP, or drop rate. So before those event only can help newbie player because those EXP and coal is not gonna help us that much. But right now, they've made a change like this. It's gonna help the new player and old player at the same time. I'm all for that type of change. Really nice. And next, in the summer, we will get an event which a new character is gonna get introduced to us. And guess who is it? It's Nishita-san. Do you remember this guy? From the fishing episode. Yes, it's that guy who won soy sauce. And not just Nishita-san. There is also another new character is gonna get introduced to us. Actually, it's not a character, but... Um, fish. You remember this fish? So that fish is gonna be the boss in this summer event. You know, when I was doing this event right here, I always think, that's not Thousand Arcana. Where is all the leftovers? And they give the answer in the live stream. They add one more difficulty is level 70, danger. In this difficulty, you can get the leftover Arcana gems. I'll grind after this as well. Ah, uh, my boy is so dead. I'm. You guys, you guys might think uh, I'm speaking normally, but I'm actually like editing my uh, coughing sound out because nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> uh, I'm still sick. So I hope I can actually get better soon, so I can make video more with more energy. Uh, so anyway, I think that's everything for this live stream. So if you guys still didn't do the bright stress is with a smile event, um, do it, do it every single day, so you can get enough to get um, both the half arm and stone and uh, no, half the beast, beast, half beast stone and the uh, core metal. Get both of them, cause if you get it right now, you won't suffer later. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, then please click the like. If you want more SAOF content, then please click subscribe. Then I'll see you guys next time.